What's up guys, this is Bolo. Welcome back to another video where I play my newest favorite video game addiction, Genshin Impact. And specifically, in this video we'll be talking about my daily and weekly grind plans for being able to ascend Kaya and his weapon, which is just a prototype Rancor. So in this video, we'll be talking about the materials I'll need to raise my level cap to the level 80. Even though I'm only level 60, I have ascended to the level 70 cap. I'm going to pause right here real quick. Something I thought of while I was editing this is if you're a lower world tier, your Kaya, Kaya is a lower level, all this will apply to you because the grinding will scale. So it might take you less time than me. It might take you um, like one tenth of the time. I have no idea. But uh, it will apply the same. So stick around if your Kaya is only level 30, 40, 50. Um, these these uh, daily grind plans will will work effectively for you as well and while i'm working on getting that level to level 70 we want to get the materials so when we get to level 70 we can automatically ascend the level 80 cap so if we look here uh here's i don't have like any of these materials because i just barely ascended so we need to get all these boss drops we need to get all these flowers we need to get all these insignias um so we'll be talking about my daily and weekly grind patterns to get all those. As well, we'll be talking about upgrading my prototype Rancor, which is also at a level 70 cap, but only level 60. When it comes time to ascend, we need all these materials, which I actually literally have zero. And these are four-star materials. But we'll be talking about the weekly and daily grind habits for this. And finally, we'll be talking about... I mainly use them as a burst for his Frost Gnaw and Glacial Waltz. So we'll be upgrading those talents, um, not really focusing on the others. And if we look, I can level it up right now, but I need Guide to Ballad. And these two are going to increase his damage so much that we are definitely going to prioritize getting those Guide to Ballad and these Insignias. So the first place we're going to look is the materials that require resin to collect. So these Jade Chunks, these Horfrost Cores, they require us killing the Karayo Regisvine. And then, the weapon though is important as well. It requires this Mist Veiled Gold Elixir, which is only available Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Which means if it's Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Saturday, we want to be using our resin on the boss. Or if it's these days, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, we're going to be wanting to use our resin on getting as much of this Mist Veiled Gold Elixir as possible. Because this is a tier 4. It's a 4 star material. Uh, yeah, 4 star material. So we'll need to really focus on that on the days that it's available. And the boss on every other day. Ex and, and then when we have all the boss drops, we can focus specifically on saving our resin through condensed resin or other, other means. So that when it comes time to farm this, we can do that to an extended degree. And one resin consumer I almost forgot to bring up was the Guide to Ballad. We need this to level up the talents. Uh, these are what make him a great elemental burst support. And so we're going to have to farm them. And so we need to do that on Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, if we go look back at the weapon materials, let's see. It's going to take a second to get there. Tuesday, Friday. So this aligns really well, right? We have a Wednesday, a Saturday grind, and a and a, a Tuesday, Friday grind. So you probably want to save the bossing to Monday, or maybe move one of these Fridays or Saturdays uh, grind to just bossing until you have those materials, and replace those days with Sunday because you can be a little more flexible with what you want to grind for on a Sunday. Next up is what I find to be the most easily to forget part of ascension grinding and that's the flower that each character needs and with the case of kaya he needs a calla lily so there's two approaches to finding these and i've taken the first for the most part which is i'm indifferent to what you choose it gives you the hint found near lakes so i started on the map and just looking and i've started marking all the calla lilies by myself um, I don't think there's anything wrong, though. In fact, I have used this once or twice if you use the online interactive map. So right here is an online interactive map that someone has created. And you can filter out whatever the heck you want. So if you're 
daily grinding for whatever it is. They have it all. Animoculus, Geoculus, and Electroculus. <laughs> it's, uh, even the stuff for uh, Inazuma. Um, anyway, you're looking for Cal Lily for Kaya. And here, you can see all the locations. I don't know if this marks every single flower. I think it actually does. And it shows here, if I scroll on the left panel, the legend over here. I'm not sure if it tells you how many there are. And on the other things it does, but not on Kala Lily. But that's okay. You can see there's plenty. There's some even over in Storm Terror's Lair. There's some over on the corner here that you would have normally missed. Um, quite a few here. And I'm actually going to go to one of these locations just to show you uh, what a Kali Lily looks like when you see it. In case you want to do it the exploration method. So if you're out exploring and you're looking for calla lilies, this is what they look like. A little orange flower. Anyway, uh, and it's, it's almost, I think it is always by water, but I could be wrong in an exception, I don't know. And uh, typically it's not alone. So if we ran around this little lake, or pond, I guess you would call it, probably. They're usually not alone. So I went to the other side of this little pond, and here's another calla lily. And if you look at this map, there's at least 25 of these. They respawn every 48 hours. That's how often the flowers respawn. So, um, in two cycles, we'd be able to rank up to our second last ascension with enough calla lilies at least. So the final thing we need for our character ascension is these uh, golden raven insignias. And for our talents, we need the silver raven insignias. And those are dropped by treasure hoarders. So if we open up our little journal thing and we go to enemies, and easy, we'll find treasure hoarders. And this is where we'll find the insignias. This is something you have to do every single day because they only spawn a limited amount in the world. And these guys are the only place you're going to find these insignias. So um, all you got to do is pop navigate. And it'll show you where some are. And we'll go there and kill these guys. And we'll see just from that little fight, we have um, the one star, two star, and three star insignias. And we'll use crafting when we need to, to make up for the differences in what we need and don't need for talents and for our character level up. But it's that simple. Finally, we need to talk about the materials we need or the prototype Rancor that are dropped by regular monsters as well, or elite monsters. Uh, this is Mist Grasswick, which is dropped by Fatui Sisson Mages. And the Lieutenant's Insignia, which, lucky enough, is dropped by quite a few different things. So, let's start with this, the Fatui Sisson Mage. It's similar to how we found the Treasure Hoarders, but instead of choosing this Easy tab, we're going to choose the Elite Enemy tab, and here we go, it's the top Fatui Sisson Mage. And we can actually get the um, insignias here, as well as the three different tiers of this pollen or mist grass, or finally the actual one we need, the mist grass wick, which is what we need to ascend our prototype Rancor. So as for a recap, on Mondays, and maybe one other day, we're going to be really be focusing on bosses, um, the Cryo Regisphine, specifically to get these drops. Every day, we're going to hunt for these flowers, either by exploring near lakes or by using that online interactive map included in the description below. And also every day, we're going to be hunting for these golden raven insignias from the treasure hoarders. That has to happen every day. The treasure hoarders one is the only one that I'd say has to happen every day, especially because our talents require us to get the silver insignias. Then on Wednesday and Saturday, we're focusing on the guide to ballad. We need that to level up our talents. This is going to make such a massive increase in damage, um, and we can't forget it. And finally, we need to get going on every Tuesday and Friday to this Mist Veiled Gold Elixir, and every day on getting this Mist Grass Wick and the Lieutenant's Insignia. That's something to do every single day of the week. And this is a very highly focused plan on ascending Kaya. If you want to take a more casual approach, that's fine. For me, specifically, the way I prioritize in my main party, I have Fischl, Kaya, um, what's her name, Jungling, and Noel. I prioritize it kind of in this order. I prioritize um, 
Official, Kaya, Zhangling, and Noel. And obviously that's a lot of resources, so it kind of trickles down. Whatever room I have left after Fischl goes to Kaya. Then after that, what trickles down goes to Zhongling. Whatever goes after that goes to Noel. So prioritize it how you want, but that's a very focused plan on how you can ascend Kaya as quick as as quick as you'd like. Anyway, guys, uh, I've really been loving Genshin. I want to do as much content on this as possible. I know my channel was dormant for a while. So I really need to work hard to get, uh, get it pushed back into the algorithm. So if you could leave me a like, that'd be really helpful. If you like this guide. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the uh, comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching these videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.